What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here with yet another installment of affordable Amazon activewear. We're putting a little twist on it. We're gonna be talking about some affordable bodysuits. A lot of the brands we feature regularly on this channel can be quite pricey. So when we can, it's nice to just balance the scales a little bit, showcase more affordable options. Plus Amazon, I mean, they're super accessible. There's like a million and one different brands on Amazon, which is why we do these reviews. We've been doing affordable Amazon hauls on this channel for what, like four years now? We've done exclusive Amazon leggings, scrunch leggings, shorts, you name it. This is our first time bringing to you an exclusive Amazon bodysuits video and I'm very excited. The bodysuits we're gonna be featuring today are from the brand Pumi. They're pretty big on Amazon actually. I've seen them a lot so you might have already heard of them but they literally specialize in bodysuits. They get a lot of comparisons to Skims. If you check out their Instagram, a lot of their reels always relate them to Skims. And it's no question, Skims tends to be pricey, but Pumi's bodysuits that we're gonna be featuring today are around $30 each. Thank you so much to Pumi for sponsoring today's video and sending these pieces out for my review. If you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button. We do a ton of videos just like this every single week here on this channel. We love activewear, we love athleisure, we love trendy pieces here. So do not miss out, hit that subscribe button, you won't regret it. Over here you can find my measurements. I'll also have them in the description box below. Every single piece you see will also be linked down below for you. And keep in mind, everything today is in my true size small. First, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what all of these bodysuits have in common. Then we'll break it up by different styles and colors. When it first came in, it really looked beautiful in the packaging. They had a slip that kept it really in place. It looked like an outline of a woman wearing the bodysuit and you could see the pop of color showing through. I thought that was really clever packaging. But when you pull it out naturally, because it's creasing everywhere, it looks wrinkly. So I was like, crap, am I gonna have to steam these? Cause I don't have time for that. But instead I threw it on and it does stretch and really mold to your body nicely. When I put it on, everything was really nice and smoothing. These all have a very glovey, dovey body fit. No wrinkling, no bunching. It's so soft to the touch. It's like second skin, almost brushed fabric. Now this material's double lined. It's not just one layer. I like that it has a second layer underneath. It doesn't add bulky thickness, it adds just enough to not have any sheerness beneath. All of these bodysuits are super lightweight and very breathable. It's like wearing a feather. So from my own personal research, these pieces are all made from the same materials. It's the same material, maybe slightly different percentages, but have no fear, they all do feel the same. If you're wondering about this feel, yes, it's definitely 100% comparable to skims. The fact that they use polyamide right off the bat, I was like, this is gonna be good because polyamide for me, if you remember, when I talk about it in my Gymshark videos, they used to really go ham on using polyamide. And it was my favorite because it was so soft and stretchy. It gave it a more luxurious, comfortable feel in my opinion. So needless to say, these are all super duper stretchy. All of these bodysuits have the same bottoms. They're the same exact cut. When wearing them, they do act as a thong. They have the bottom snap closure, like traditional bodysuits do, so it's probably not a surprise to you. These are actually surprisingly small from other bodysuits I've tried. They're not huge, clunky metal pieces down there. Maybe I've just been trying really weird bodysuits. <laughs> These really stay shut, like, you actually have to tug to get them apart. I guess that could be a good thing so they're not snapping on your crotch when you're walking around. Or it can be slightly annoying if you have to really pee. <laughs> and you're having trouble just snapping them apart. You could do what I do, the little trick, you just move the material to the side, is that gross? Now, I don't know whose arms they're referencing when making these long sleeves, but they're so astronomically long on me. <laughs> they're just so long, and I don't even got a thumb hole, so what am I supposed to do with this? Do you remember at the end of Space Jam when Michael Jordan went for the dunk? That's how long these sleeves are. I have T-Rex arms. My biggest concern with bodysuits, I think number one concern would be right here. I don't want this to be too tight on me. If I were to throw joggers and I'm trying to keep it really comfy, cool, I'm not in the mood to feel like there's a floss in between my legs. I've worn bodysuits before where it hurt. After a while, I was like, oh my God, I had to unclasp and just walk around with it unclasped, and then it defeats the purpose of wearing an actual bodysuit. These were surprisingly comfortable because I do feel like I have somewhat of a shorter torso, so maybe that's in my favor. I don't know, if you have a super long torso, this might fit you differently down here. But for me, my true size smalls were 
perfect. Because these bodysuits are very consistent, sticking with your true size is the way to go. If you're in between, I would say if you prefer a more form fit, you could get away with sizing down. You don't mind if there's a little bit of extra room to play with, then you could get away with sizing up. I do feel like this material is very forgiving though, because it's so body fit. I think you could get away with either one, just depends on your preference. Let's check out the colors and styles I have here. So for the long sleeve crew necks, I have the colors mocha, nice dark nude, khaki, so if you go for a lighter nude, and elephant gray, so all neutrals. As you can see here, the elephant gray has a wider neckline and it's also very seamless. So you don't actually have a sewn on collar like you do with these two. That is because the elephant gray is from their Smoke Cloud collection. And these two brown shades are from the Sharp collection. For the mock necks, I have this beautiful color ruby. This one's probably my favorite because it's so bright and happy. And then I went with the classic jet black as well. I feel like when it comes to mock necks, the way to style this particular fit would be with more jeans or pants or skirts. This is not something I would necessarily wear with sweatpants. That I would leave to the tanks and the crews, something more casual. Mock neck has a little more of a formal look. So if you're a teacher, my teachers listen up, this would look so great under a pair of slacks. From their Smoke Cloud collection, I also have two of their high neck sleeveless bodysuits. This is in the color Marsala. So this looks like a bit of a darker shade of terracotta, a little bit of a muted red. Then we have Dark Knight. I don't know if they played off of Dark Knight Batman. This color's pretty rich though. You got not only a navy blue, but a tinge of purple happening here. So as you can see, it's a high neck, so there's a lot of coverage, goes right up to the neckline. There's a few things I like and dislike about this bodysuit. First things first, I really love the neckline. <laughs> and I really do love the actual cuts. If you look at the actual cut of the sleeves, it's angled in such a way where you're not getting pinched in. But with that being said, the downfall is that if you were to wear a traditional seamless bra underneath, you're gonna see the straps. So this is the type of bodysuit, this particular cut, where you either need to find a seamless bra that has adjustable straps, you can cross them over so they're not visible, or you could wear knit pads or nothing at all. Now, with these bodysuits, I get it. They wanna go with a body fit, that skimming effect, but me sometimes, especially when I wear it out, I'm gonna need a little support. I would like some options where there's actual built-in bras or at least a little bit of padding. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, sure, I got knit pads somewhere. So yeah, keep that in mind. It's overall super flattering, but if support is your main thing, these bodysuits won't give you that. There's nothing holding you in. You gotta wear something underneath. Story time about this Marsala color here. I actually went to go wear this on Valentine's Day. Bay and I were going out for the day. I was getting ready, okay, so I put this on and I was doing my hair and I use hair oil and I must have somehow, of course, story of my life, dripped some oil on this. <laughs> I was almost out the door and I saw the oil stain. So I went ahead, had to take this off. I was really pissed. Long story short, the next day I washed it. Now I wash this like active wear because there is elastane in it. It's similar to active wear in its own right. I'm happy to note that the oil stain came out and I thought this was actually an ideal situation to test out how it holds up when washing it. It held up nicely, still feels and fits the same. So there you have it. That was our Pumi bodysuits review. Check them out on Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. I hope you guys found this video super helpful. Like I said, overall, I think for the price point, you really can't go wrong. As long as you're just looking for something to wear comfortably, lightweight, breathable, body skimming, smoothing, all that, your basic bodysuit that you plan to wear athleisurely, then yeah. Like I said, if you need a ton of support, you're gonna have to go ahead and grab a bra. If you have any questions about what you saw in today's video, comment down below and let me know what other Amazon brands you'd like me to try next. Always open to trying new brands. That goes for anything. It doesn't have to be just Amazon. Comment down below. I have a whole list in my notes of brands that you guys are requesting and I'm checking them off one at a time. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you in my next video.